See, this is why I did this little thing, you see? Because I'm inept and I make mistakes all the time. Right. We'll get all this mopped up. It's fine. It's only a little spill. We don't need to notify the authorities. Everything is fine. There's a little bit of piss in my pool, but that's fine as well. It's fine. Yes, DeSudro. What, what is your problem? If you're going to give me some remark about pollution or oil spills or anything like that, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. We have an emergency, everyone. Get involved. Everyone grab a mop, for fuck's sake. That could have been bad. Why? Literally, this is why I do this sort of thing. Like, I did not want polluted water down here. Or any water down there, really. Oh, they're doing the priority nine sweeping instead of the priority nine mopping. God damn. Nice gnome. You see, that's the sort of thing we need. Mistakes were made. Get off my case. Damn it. Damn it, GG. Straight in with the blade. Okay. Um, I should have seen that coming. I wasn't paying attention. So, fortunately, by not having these powered, we stopped the flow. So the pipe's still got liquid in it. It's ready to go. Once we get this stuff swept, we'll seal this up and it should be fine. Um, now, for now, I'm going to need a ladder over here so that we can put some sand into the um, deodorizers. But ultimately, we'll do it with sweeper arms. Uh, shit, I didn't mean to press that. Um, and as I mentioned before, I think I can do like three sweeper arms per side. Should be fine. I think. So we'll have like... Uh, yeah, one there. One there. And one there. And that should do us nicely. So if we put our ladder... Uh, you bastard. Put our ladder up here for now. Get rid of this shit. And we'll get rid of you. What priority did I do that? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> and then our dupes can put some material in this for now, just to test it, see how it works. Um, the quote log, most of the time you keep a random selection, uh, subsection up and you'll find ample usage of them. Nice. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you see, no? They're all there, ready to be used. Okay. So, listen, it's like it never happened, alright? The, the water is gone. What we basically did was gave ourselves a load of free oxygen. Because polluted oxygen is fine, honestly. So don't worry about it. We'll get this crap swept up. We'll get this sealed off. We'll connect that wire and everything will be fine. And I think what I'll do, we'll do like 100 kilos or something on each layer. Just for now. And see how that works. Um, 100 kilos per tile. And it'll, it might balance out and it might switch on and off a little bit. But I think that'll be okay. I really wish they'd brought in a thing so we can copy settings on the uh, sensors. That would be a nice, nice little thing to do. Beautiful. So, uh, we've just got these bottles to get rid of now and then we're good to go, I think. So, we'll get rid of this crap. And we can start sealing up some of this. Unreachable build, oh, of course it is. <clears throat> Hi, what is that system? Oxygen generation, polluted water. Uh, that's the plan, Dragon. We're sort of we're doing a little bit for science at the minute. We're trying to see if this will work um, and how much we'll get from it. But that is the plan. This is like a babby one. This is going to give us enough, in theory, enough oxygen for four and a half ju for four and a half dupes. Um, so we'll just have to cut one of them in half for now. But that should be fine. Um, can somebody uproot this bastard? There we go. Come on, get rid of this. I don't want it. Uh, 
Boop. <clears throat> copy settings need some TLC anyway. Auto bottling disinfection settings don't copy over. They have to be done one at a time. Yeah, the um, enable auto bottling thing. I know that's that's been like that for fucking ages as well. Don't know why they've not fixed that yet, honestly. Don't know why. Right, we'll do a little bit of digging here. Get rid of some of this stuff. We can seal off these other bits now. So we can seal off this side. Uh, that should be fine. Don't think I've missed any wires anywhere. That can be sealed as well. Okay, just empty these last few bottles and then we are good to go. Sand become a renewable resource while I wasn't looking at something. Uh, sand, sand has always been a renewable resource. You can make sand, but um, it's more the fact that now from space we get a material called regolith, and that is technically a filtration material. So I think we can use that. I think. Again, this is all sort of. I've never done this before, so we'll have to see. Uh, but fuck it. I, let's let's see. Let's connect this back up. And. Hopefully there'll be no leaks this time. Hopefully this will be okay. <laughs> nice to subdraw. <laughs> um, what temperature should the oxygen be? The same as the water? I think so, yeah. Uh, if that works well, it's going to be good because it creates no heat. We will have to see. I believe. I'm a believer. All right. So we'll fill the top layer, then it'll be the next layer, and so on. So we'll have to see. What I do need to do is I need to get rid of all the hydrogen and oxygen that's in here, ideally. That is the dream. Uh, and I'll probably need another manual generator in here just to make sure this has got enough balls to keep going. And uh, we'll slap a few in. We're starting to get some bubbles. Cool. Only issue being the regolith comes in at like 400 degrees. It does. Um, however, Josephine, we do have the advantage of having a slush geyser. And the slush geyser will give us potentially... Excuse me. Potentially some excess cooling water that Okay, let me explain. We've got a slush geyser up here And I've been collecting the water from the slush geyser for quite some time in a pressurized tank So we've got quite a lot of polluted water backed up now This polluted water is going to be very useful to us because it comes in at minus 10 degrees Okay, so what I'm basically going to do we've got a dig that I've sort of set out up here that uh, We kind of need to crack on with um I'm an idiot. Um, and this is going to be an electrolyzer build up here. Now this electrolyzer build, we're going to use some of that polluted water to cool oxygen down to like 16 to 20 degrees. And then as soon as the, the polluted oxygen goes above that temperature, it'll get dumped out the system somewhere else. And then we'll use that water that's now 21 degrees, for example, or 18 degrees, or whatever we choose that temperature to be, at which point it dumps it. We'll use that water elsewhere. Now that water can be used for cooling other things. We can use it to pass by our batteries until it gets to 70 degrees or do you know what I mean? So it's all about sort of chain cooling and I think that's that's what we're going to try and do. Um, that will be the plan I think. Because um, I'm going to have a lot of water from that slush geyser and I won't need all of it for the oxygen oxygen production because we've sort of built it before we, we kind of know how it's going to work. So it should be alright all being well. But we'll see. I, I don't know how much this is going to produce. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the figures that I've sort of worked out are going to be right. Um, but now this should just chill now until this drops below 100 kilos. Um, it may well be that we want more water per tile and that gives us more. I don't know. But we'll have to see. 
The other thing I'm concerned about, which I mentioned when I was building this, I don't know if the other gases that are going to find their way into here will uh, prevent polluted oxygen from, from being released. So if there's already oxygen here, it might not do anything. So we'll have to see. But yeah. But I don't think I don't think cooling the regolith will be too much of a problem. I think we'll be able to uh, to at least cool it to some degree anyway. I think. So, with that said, the next thing that we really need to do is start looking at the oxygen build. Um, so I've got some other builds up here. These are all super low priority, so they're probably looking for things to do almost now. So we'll carry on getting some of this crap sorted. I also want to prettify the base a little bit and get some things changed within the base. Um, and we'll just see what happens with this. It might work, it might not, but we'll see. Theoretically, this build will supply the US Space Force enough oxygen in the moon for one decade, <laughs> potentially. We will see. Um, we're probably going to need to drop some more water down from up here. So I might, I might try and do that now. Uh, let's see. So we want to come through this line, don't we? We'll start hollowing out some of this, because I'm probably going to want the space up here anyway, so we'll uh, we'll do a little dig here. A little dig here. Get rid of this. And then we'll save this for now. That should be fine. So we've actually got a reasonable amount of water here we can drop in. Um, I do need to make sure that we keep this going though. So let's put all these to a nine. It's weird that I've not got any sort of power grid at cycle 200. <laughs> I'm not used to any sort of external power apart from a couple of manual gens in the base. I should really set up a transformer grid soon. But I kind of want to get this dug out and we'll, we'll map out what we're going to do for electrolyzers. It's going to be quite a big build. Um... Because I want to have plenty of oxygen for um, exosuits and everything. So we're going to try and do everything in one fail swoop. That is the plan. That is the plan. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's pretty miserable down here. It's pretty grim. I think the system needs some startup because that oxygen, you might need to pump out the oxygen from the right. Uh, I think what I'll probably just do is slap in a couple of airflow tiles to begin with. Um, I think it'll be okay. What's probably happening at the moment is we, we are getting some pockets of polluted oxygen. So like that there we've got a tiny little pocket of 39 grams. And it'll merge with another pocket somewhere. Um, let's see. It's like there we've got 4,364 milligrams. I say we might just need more water, uh, basically. We might just need more water per tile. That could be a thing as well. And we've got a couple of bits of carbon dioxide trolling us as well. So maybe we just need an airflow tile on each floor, like down here or something. So I don't think, I don't think gases will evaporate sideways, unless that's something that's changed with the new, with the new um, way that gases move. This is going to be messy, by the way. We are going to make a bit of a mess here. Some of this water is going to get out. We could actually um, slap a tile there first. Kind of don't want you to do that. Uh, be free, nerd. Go somewhere else. There we go. So that should mean all our water should stay level or being well. Mm 
and we'll get all these filled up a bit, and then I'll up these to like 200 or something and see if that makes a bit of a difference. Mm -mm. I say, for science. Mm -mm -mm. Are we going to launch Trump then? What's this? What if I miss? Sorry. Good evening, Max. How are you, buddy? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And you might be right, Flyer. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. As I say, it's a bit for science, this. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, for some reason, I can't stop cringing on the fact Trump is going to make a space force. Uh, are they going to launch Trump, then? Nice mix. Uh, all right, I'm back, and I'm with a careful selection of 13 reusable quotes. My goodness, quotes. You see, now you need to fight the battle and not let them go stale, though. You can't use the same quote too frequently. That's no good. That is no good. Okay, so we've got plenty of stuff for them to be cracking on with at the minute. They're going to dig this down. I might do a little algae hunt over here as well and give us a bit of a buffer of algae because we are out in the base. Um, we're okay for now because we're getting the free, al uh, free oxygen from these down here, but I'm going to have a hydrogen problem soon if I'm not careful. So I probably need to deal with that as well. I'm just going to deconstruct these for a second. And we'll dig out the rest of this crap up here as well as much of it as we can. That should, that should be fine. <clears throat> nice, nice, fair enough, Quirts. I'll use them how I like. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Haven't seen you play Survivor Mars for a while. They apparently added connectors between domes now. Yeah, I saw the last... Uh, uh, one of the last updates I saw, they'd added a couple of new domes and a few other bits, but it still didn't seem like there was much content there. So, I've not played Survivor, Survivor Mars very much at all. Um, if I'm honest, it's one of my regret buys of the year. I kind of wish I'd not got caught up in the hype, but we'll, we'll probably come back to it. We'll see what more gets added to it. It's the same with Frostpunk. I really enjoyed Frostpunk, but it was very short-lived. But I know they've already showed like a DLC roadmap of stuff they're going to add, so I don't feel quite so bad about that. But Surviving Mars, I'm not sure, honestly. I don't know if that's going to be one I regret. I, I really like it too, Quirt. I just don't think there's enough content. I really do like the game. I like everything about it. I like the concept. I like everything, but I just don't think there's enough content. I could be totally wrong, and they might add a shitload to it, but who knows. Ahead of myself. God damn. Mm -hmm. I think all these games could be really good for having cops, something like that. Um, there was a game I was watching the other day. I was watching Hat Films play it, um, and it was like they were on they were on like a Mars-like planet, and it was like an FPS, but not. And it was base building, and it was like rust on rust on Mars. It looked quite interesting, but I don't know if it's terrible or not. I think all those games can be really good for having co-op. All those games, including KSP. Imagine you have a friend testing out your shuttles. You can apparently play KSP multiplayer. The only problem is, apparently, your timelines um, can go out of sync if one of you warps. But you can apparently do uh, KSP multiplayer. I've been playing without Alt Z and it's been killing you. Nice, Torello. Get back into it, mate. Stop being a dirty debugger. Uh, Stories from Mars. Is that the one? Because it seemed very buggy for them. They, they seem to have lots of bugs. But it looked quite fun. Okay, right. That's a little bit of stuff cleared out in the base. I feel a bit nicer for that now. Um, we can technically drop some more of this liquid down there, but... I think we'll be okay. I think I think we can just drop all this. Famous last words. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Sorry about that. Big old loud car. Somebody tearing it up in their Ford Orion. Uh, 
Oh, we've got some algae over here. I didn't even notice that. Okay, there's our, there's our buffer algae. Let's crack on getting over here. Uh, let's head over. Over yonder. Uh, Miss Simpsy, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? Uh, what is the point of this controlled polluted water tower? Um, it's meant to be... It's meant to be some some oxygen production. That is the plan. But at the moment, we have lots of oxygen down here. Um, I don't know how we had this leak, but let's, let's get this collected. Uh, at the moment, we've got lots of oxygen bellies on, here, on the outside of the base, anyway. So... It's sort of a test. We're gonna we're, we're gonna run this for a bit and see how it works. I'll probably take these uh, these electrolyzers out um, once we get an actual setup in the base. But for now, me. One word, Factoria. All right, all right, mate. Uh, I joined Hat Films back when they played Skylands for Minecraft back in the day. Oh, and one of my favorite playlists on YouTube is. Uh, Shat block, because I'm a big I'm a big Sips fan. I absolutely love Sips. So um, Hat Films with Sips is probably the best stuff they ever did. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. For you for you non Brits, by the way, I don't know I don't know if if Yogscast have an awful lot of American followers. I know they have some, but um, I'm not gonna be able to get to this, am I? Uh, one of my, one of the popular sort of YouTubers, you'll, you'll have heard of the Yogscast, surely. Um, well, obviously they branch off and there's different people from the Yogscast. Sips is one of my favourites. I love Sips. He's very, very good. I love him a lot. He influences a lot of what I play as well. So if you follow Sips, you'll probably notice similar games he plays to I play. Because I'll watch him play something and be like, ah, oh, shit, I've not played that for ages. I really need to play it now. So, he's the one that keeps getting me back into RimWorld. Beautiful. Used to watch Yogs for their boss videos for WoW. The Yogs cast was shit at WoW, that was the problem. But that's sort of what made their name. They were all shit at WoW. Jesus. I kind of want to head over here. We've still got this um, carbon dioxide, guys, so I've not figured out what I'm going to do with this. But it gives us such a tiny amount of cooling. I don't know if I even really care about it. Carbon dioxide isn't really the best material to start with. Hmm. Yeah, it's more of a how not to video, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, okay, once we've done the ceiling bit in here, we'll slap in a few pumps. Slap in some basic piping and wiring and stuff. And then we'll get with these ladders and we'll work down. That's probably the thing to do. Um, let's see. Let's get Nerd promoted. Uh, Beamer on. Go. And Mick X is about to level up, which is good. Uh, no immunity. Oh dear. Uh, let's give everybody access to tasty sweets. In fact, no. Let's just give Beamer on access. Do we have any made? No. Can make a lot of these barn lily sweets. Can make a lot of them. Right, how are we doing for slime lung outside the base now? We've cleared off a lot of the slime lung down here. Um, I think we need some more deodorizers kicking around. Just for some of this mess that I've made at the bottom. I'm a bit worried, honestly. That we had slime lung up here. Um, in the hydrogen, which was a bit annoying. It seems to have fixed itself. Right. I could do with getting a slickster over on this side. Because we've got a shitload of CO2 over here. But I think we've killed off all our slicksters. Um, although we do have a couple of eggs here. If I dump these eggs over here, will they just hatch out nicely? Is that a thing? 
I'll tell you what, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to build some tiles here. I'm going to try and capture all this water. And get it mopped. If we can. I've left a load of bottled water down here, so it's now toasty hot, 60 degrees, which sucks. Uh, whoever that twat is, and he's banged out old banger. I'm sorry if you can hear that on stream, by the way, but I do have to have a little crack of the window open. Um, that will work fine. Okay, Max. So I can re relocate them with a compactor, then dump them out. It should be all right. Uh, Mickex, have you done this? You have. Very good. Let's get you being a gopher. Very good. Yeah, I'm just thinking we've got an awful lot of CO2 building up on this side, so it'd be nice to get some slicksters going down here. So let's also... Uh, let's think about this. I'm probably going to build some tiles here. And we'll dig down, we'll dig down some space here. No, I won't. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a little ladder down here. Bastard. Do a little ladder here. And then we will drop our slicksters down here. Press that. Oop. Mop. Great work. Okay, get all this crap mopped up. Uh, Doctor Cappuccinos, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How is it going? Right. So yeah, I think we'll drop them slicksters down here. I know I'm doing stuff super high priority again at the minute, but it's just I want the, I want to move these eggs before they uh, they hatch. If I can, that would be good. Got a big old pool of oil down here, but not much in it. There is no life. Just meat. Which sucks. No! Oh, he hatched. I mean, he's adorable, honestly, but he did hatch. Shit. Shit all over it. Okay. And what I'll probably do is get rid of these ladders and dig this out as well. So it's a bit warm down here, so I have to be quite quick. And then we'll probably do something like this. Just in case you have a little spill. Just a little spill. We can collect it. Is that other little egg? Where is it? Oh, 20%. That's fine. Nice. Right. How are we getting on up here? Looks like we've dug most of what we can get to, which is fine. So let's do something like that. And let's increase all these as well. Let's make this like 300 kilos. 
let's see if that gives us more more stinky air. You're okay. Right, critter egg. Slicks the egg. Let's get that collected. Shtap. Very good. And I should probably make sure these aren't doing anything anymore as well. dig this one down as well. Uh, so let's see. Fluid water around here. We'll just keep doing this for now. It is very stinky up here, uh, very slime lungy, which is not ideal. So let's slap down a few more of these. Nice. Uh, we seem to have stopped putting any more ice into here. We do have quite a lot of water building up in here though, which is nice. So we are getting shitloads of water. It's not the coldest, but honestly it's predominantly going to go into our electrolyzers anyway, so it's fine. Beautiful. Shitload of coal. It's nice. We're accumulating a shitload of eggshell as well, which is fine. I don't know how much lime we actually need. I think it's used for making glass, isn't it? So I don't actually know how much we're really going to need in total. more lime than what you currently have. How do you know how much lime I've got? Where is lime? Where is it? Wait, I don't have any lime. How much? Wh why do we need so much? What's, what's the deal? Wait, did one of them just go pop? <gasps> Baby! Incredible. Uh, why do we need so much lime? Is it for making glass? 